can't beat a good unboxing in my opinion. I'm very excited to see these parts. Just cut in here. Ooh, in bubble wrap. Very professional. Let's open this up. Here we go. Ooh, that's a Pandora box. That's cool. Little red carabiner. Now that's sick. Now that is... It'll make sense why that's the surprise for the parts I've gotten. Now that's my worker silicone for the lubes. Thank you very much. In a, in a flywheel. Needed a replacement a, uh, plunger head for this lip here, which goes onto your catch plate. Mine is completely filed away because I used the metal catch. I'm going to be converting to the plastic one. So that's pretty much why I had to get this. So thanks for sending that over. And here are the 3D print parts that I've ordered off him. Ooh, 3D printed trigger too. Wow, he sent me quite a few things. All right, that's his company logo. We'll just cut in here. Very nice. Uh, we'll read the little note he's left. I decided to print a red trigger. Felt it would look cool, but but ran out <laughs> but ran out halfway, so I finished it with black. Hope you like it. The left side is black. The left side is red, so you can see it while you're holding it. <laughs> Remove stock slide, sling point from the back. It is a tight fit, so gently slide it on down. That's just installing the part. Thanks so much, Cobber. Enjoy enough on PPS, red and black dart, and worker gen for views. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you so much. And he's, that is cool. I do like the look of that, actually, the red and the black. That's cool. Um, that's definitely going to be going in, but these are the two parts I want. Now this is a sling point which goes onto a like a buffer tube stock. Now my retaliator has one of these, and I definitely wanted this. And now if you're thinking about its durability and, and how good it's going to be, considering it is a 3D printed part, this is a completely solid print, 100% infill. Uh, showed me everything about that, so pretty strong part, and we've got these nice big. Uh, nuts and bolts on the bottom and then this here is a really cool custom jam door which has bang which is my uh, group and then cobber on the other side which is sweet and then it's got this clear window so you can see inside now that's really cool just some really cool unique parts you know nothing that you'd see every day and here's some cool here's another worker so now 101 worker darts which is beautiful and this here is uh, red and black dart to pose with the blaster which is nice so the carabiner if you're figuring out slides on like that oh beautiful and that's just another nice little touch it's red everything's gonna look so sick beautiful I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work before I can install these two parts I have to tune my blaster make sure it's firing and catching with the new system and then I'll show you guys how to install these guys Links will be in the description for all these, so I'm going to go get my ret now, and I'll show you guys how to install them. Alright, we're inside the recon to install the custom jam door, which is a very nice piece. The only, um, well, ironic thing about me getting this piece is that I've got the Gavin Fuzzy Picatinny rail, which doesn't allow the um, jam door to come up, which is alright, this thing won't jam. If anything, the brass breech is also going to hinder from me getting my fingers in there to clear a jam but I usually pull out the magazine and get my fingers up through the magwell to clear a jam if I get one. So this pretty much you just slide in the original pin for your normal jam door and that just slides in like that, clips into place and that's in. Custom jam door install done. For the trigger I just got the stock spring and put that on there trigger is all set and done. Sweet, sweet. So that's in. Everything's in place. I'll lock my blaster down and then I'll show you how to install the sling point. Alright, 
blaster is locked down, everything's in place. All catching very lovely again. And the jam door looks rather handsome there. Just a nice subtle detail, bringing a bit more red to the blaster because it is a very special Crimson Recon. So for the second part he sent me today, it is the sling point for the stock. Now I'm gonna take these rear bolts off so it's gonna be a lot easier for me to slide this on without the bolts restricting the movement of the 3D printed piece. Now I am gonna to have to be very careful here to install this. It is gonna be a very, very tight friction fit. Getting over this uh, back buffer tube area. There we go. And we'll slide over all the way to the front here, which is where I want it to kind of hold and the blast will kind of fling itself down like that. And it's just a nice red touch on there as well. Love that. So we put our bolts through here. And there's only gonna be a little bit of thread, but that should be enough for us. How good is that? That is on. And we'll just tighten it up. Oh. <laughs> Very fiddly part to, def to put on. And cool, that is on. And that's just a really nice red touch on the back of the blaster. How cool is that? That just looks so cool and brings so much more color to the rear of it. Put that on. And yeah, that definitely adds a very, very nice touch to the build. Absolutely love that. And the red trigger on the other side does look cool as well. Just adding these little parts can make blasters so much better. So I'm gonna get this thing all tactical up and I'll take it outside and give you a demonstration on how the sling point uh, is working, how the trigger goes, and how nice the jammed all works. After a little bit of use, I find the sling point to be an absolute gem of a piece. It's such a great addition to the blaster, brings colour to it and actually serves a purpose. As you can see, I've got my single point sling on the back of the stock at the moment and it's as easy as unclipping to make it a two point sling for the up top clip that I have on my top Picatinny rail. Firing the blaster is still nice and comfortable and it's also nice and easy to pop off and put back on the back as well with the carabiner and putting the sling back is nice and easy too. And just having it hang there, it's very comfortable, just letting the blaster hang, very comfortable, easy to pick back up, get back into my firing position, hold the blaster well, it's just a really good piece. Reloading still beautiful and easy and overall this sling point is absolutely amazing. The trigger is also very, very nice for a 3D printed part. It's quite precise and you know it's a nice firm trigger pull and you are you fire in your blaster when you pull that trigger. It's a very nice trigger. And the jam door is also very, very nice being able to see inside the blaster and making sure everything's running smoothly. Overall, I really do recommend these parts. So to do an overall overview and review of these products, um, I'll just give you that now. To start off, I want to talk about the actual functionality part that I bought, which is this sling point for the stock. Now, this will only work with like M4 style buffer tube style stocks like this that I have on the red. But I'm sure if you asked him nicely and you gave him dimensions, he would actually custom make you one because this was actually a custom part ordered by someone and I saw it and I was like, yes, I definitely want that part. Overall, it's a really solid part. Like I said, it's a 100% full density 3D printed part. And this is holding this blaster very securely and very strongly. The 3D print is definitely not gonna bend or flex. Uh, besides, if you heated it up on like a hot day, maybe watch it like that. But I'm pretty sure it's not gonna melt and bend like that too easily. It's very comfortable. I like having the slim point here so I can drop the blaster and it's in its right way position. I can easily get my hand, pick up the blaster with my firing hand and put my hand on the pump grip nice and easy. It's a great little piece and holds it very strongly and securely. Also, thanks to him for sending this carabiner over. It just makes the blaster look that much cooler with a metallic red carabiner. It's so dope. Would highly recommend one of these if you've got a buttstock like this. Highly, highly recommend picking up one of these pieces. Onto the more form over functionality part up here with the jam door. 
It's a very cool piece and it's very personal. Uh, everyone's going to know that this blaster was built by Cobber now if they haven't seen my YouTube or they haven't seen this blaster before. Uh, if someone was at an event and they saw uh, Cobber on the side there, they know that it's my blaster and it's built by me. And I've also got my group uh, Bang on the side, Brisbane Air and Earth Group, also on the other side. So it's Cobber from Bang and this is his blaster. So that is also a really nice piece. Love the clear. Uh, bit on top of the jam door. If I didn't have the Gavin Fuzzy Picatinny, you'd be able to see it, but it's just a really, really nice piece. If I had just to pick something out of it, um, the tolerances are a little bit off. Uh, it closes and it fits in there nice and snug, but as you can see, it's just lifting up a little bit on this side. Now that's down to 3D print. It's definitely not um, Jaden's error. It's an awesome piece, but it could just use a little bit of sanding from the people that buy it just to fit your blaster. Every blaster is going to be a little bit different. And with 3D printed parts, they're all going to be a little bit different. To the 3D printed trigger, this is actually really nice. It is very strong and I actually find it better than a normal injection molded plastic trigger. It's just super strong and it doesn't flex, which I love. It gives me a much firmer uh, trigger pull. I actually feel like I'm pressing something and depressing the catch to fire this dart and it's just so much sturdier and stronger. Would highly recommend this piece. This was sent to me for free by him, so that piece I highly recommend as well. Overall, I would highly recommend these pieces to anyone out there that's got a really good retaliator build and just wants something to show it off and maybe do a little bit of bling and have those extra pieces just to make it that extra tactical. If you want to pick up these pieces, I'll have the links in the description to Jaden's Wolfpack 3D. And you can go ahead and get some of these parts for yourself for your Retaliator build. I'd like to thank Jaden from Wolfpack 3D for sending this stuff over to me again. Very, very happy and very pleased with these parts. Highly recommend. Definitely go check him out. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to catch up with me when I'm not making videos, check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Discord server in the description. Subscribe if you enjoy my content, and I'll see you in the next one.